The New Player's Guide to Planeswalker Decks for Magic the Gathering. Planeswalker decks are claimed by Wizards of the Coast as the best first purchase for a new player. Once such a player has learned the game through either magic duels or a welcome deck, purchasing a Planeswalker deck is intended as a potential first step towards becoming an established magic player. But is this the case? This video will examine what Planeswalker decks are, what they contain, what purpose they serve, and who they are for. Although this video will use as its examples and illustrations the Amonkhet Planeswalker decks, unless significant changes are made to the product, it can be applied to future decks as well. Please note, this video is intended as an introductory guide to the product for brand new players to Magic the Gathering. For a more advanced and critical analysis of the product from the perspective of an established MTG player, please be sure to see my Is It Worth It video for Planeswalker decks, which I have linked in the description below. What is a Planeswalker deck? Planeswalker decks are a product intended to teach brand new players the basic strategy of Magic the Gathering, the game's settings, its characters, and to simply provide that very first 60 card deck to begin their magic journey with. That's the intent, but what are these decks really? Before I get into what they are, it might be helpful to begin by defining what they are not. Planeswalker decks are not for Friday Night Magic. This includes upgrading the deck to be reasonably competitive at FNM and similar in-store events. Planeswalker decks are not competitive. Planeswalker decks are not for playing against non-Planeswalker decks. The power level on these is low, as is their consistency. Using them to play against friends with anything other than other Planeswalker decks will result in overwhelmingly unbalanced and unfun gameplay. Planeswalker decks are not for getting cards to start a Magic the Gathering collection. Now, this is the most likely of these nots to one day change, as Planeswalker decks do contain a selection of cards not available anywhere else. These cards are intentionally designed to be non-competitive. However, there is always the potential of an unintended usefulness from one of these exclusive cards. Were this to ever happen, such as a Planeswalker from the decks unexpectedly being a key piece in standard, then the decks would indeed contain collectible cards of value to established players and likely no longer even be found on shelves except at an extremely marked up price due to everyone buying them up just to get that hypothetically useful exclusive card. Also, some players have expressed fondness for these underpowered Planeswalkers in the casual format of Commander. So what are Planeswalker decks for? First and foremost, this is the very first purchase for brand new players. A player should begin learning Magic the Gathering, ideally from a patient friend, or on their own via Magic Duels, and then, as a very first purchase, buy one Planeswalker deck, so as to have a complete 60-card constructed deck to continue practicing with. Planeswalker decks are like training wheels on a child's first bike. They are introductory, temporary, not needed by everyone, and a quickly discarded thing. What else are these decks for? While this is highly subjective, many more casual players may find them fun, whether just as an item to open up and enjoy an exclusive Planeswalker, however intentionally poorly designed, or to just get a few fun games against a friend. However, I really must stress the incredible simplicity of these decks, and established players looking for fun would probably have a much more successful time with something such as a dual deck, but we are focusing on new players here. A Planeswalker deck contains the following.
two booster packs from the current set, a 60-card beginner's deck comprised largely of commons and uncommons, as well as a selection of exclusive cards, a strategy insert, and a magic learn-to-play guide are also included. Let's look at those exclusive cards. Within each Planeswalker deck are five exclusive cards, designed to be fun and flavorful, but also designed to not, I repeat not, be competitive for Friday Night Magic and other in-store events. Despite this, these exclusive cards are still legal in all formats, including standard. These exclusive cards are one foil planeswalker, two copies of a rare spell that tutors for the specific planeswalker, three copies of an uncommon permanent that is enhanced by having the planeswalker in play, four copies of a common with a basic effect, and finally four copies of an on-color common dual land, in other words, a basic tap land. The decks themselves highlight and sample mechanical themes of the block from which they are from, utilizing the new keywords and mechanics. The decks are also two-color, even if the corresponding Planeswalker is monocolored. Trades and Upgrades Since Planeswalker decks come with two booster packs, there is the possibility of both upgrading the decks and trading for upgrades. This is luck-dependent, of course, and an intended means of getting players hooked on cracking packs. But on-color cards can be added to the Planeswalker deck, and others can be traded with friends. The issue here is that you need other players on the exact same level as you, as you're going to be looking to mostly trade commons and uncommons to improve this deck, and that's not something most established players look to trade. In fact, most established players are more likely just to leave piles of those commons and uncommons at the end of a table after draft. So who is this deck for? These decks are for one person and one person only, a brand new player to the game who has no, or almost no, Magic the Gathering cards whatsoever. They are a first purchase, and after that first purchase, something that you will never need to purchase again. I think that analogy of training wheels for your bike is very apt. In conclusion, Planeswalker decks are an acceptable first purchase for a brand new player, however they are far from a vital one. They can make a great gift for younger players just getting into the game, and they can serve as a beginner's deck for fun and practice. But there's a lot of other options out there, including deck builders toolkits, rookie and battle decks, and one of my favorites, simply attending a pre-release and then a draft. Speaking Critically, once a brand new player has purchased one Planeswalker deck, they have no need to ever do so again. Established players do not ever need to purchase a Planeswalker deck. And as a reminder, for a more detailed critical analysis from the perspective of an active player, please be sure to watch my Is It Worth It video for Planeswalker decks, linked to in this video's description. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out by remembering to like, share, subscribe, or just by leaving a comment. What was your first purchase when you started playing Magic the Gathering, and is it something that you would recommend to prospective new players who might be reading the comments below? Let us know. And this program was made possible thanks to a sponsorship from Card Kingdom, as well as the Patreon support of viewers such as you. So thank you.